Hi there, good afternoon. This is Liz Davis. I'm a nutritionist and I specialise in digestive health for busy women. So I help busy women fix their IBS symptoms, bloating, heart, um, painful digestion and all the other things that are linked in with that. So um, chronic fatigue, hormone issues, menopause, perimenopause, etc. And I do this with state-of-the-art gut testing or hormone testing and um, lifestyle, dietary upgrades, supplements, etc. to really help to bring, bring things nicely back into balance for you and get you feeling really good again like you should be able to. So today I was going to do a quick rundown all about the link between your gut health and your thyroid health because it is actually quite a big, um, there's a big connection there for many reasons. So I'll just go over five reasons why um, those two systems are very closely linked. As you probably know, everything's linked in with everything else So in the body, so um, it's very rarely that you will find one issue in isolation. There's always a few sort of things going on at the same time. Um, so basically with your thyroid then, suboptimal thyroid is a really common issue. In fact, so many people have it and don't realise. Um, I think they estimate about 60% of people have some form of suboptimal thyroid function without even realising that they do and a lot of these suboptimal thyroid issues do um, kind of, um, they're, they're very similar to issues you may get with a lot of other problems as well, a lot of other health problems. Um, so um, with your thyroid, because it affects so many different systems in the body, you can get symptoms as far reaching as issues with your metabolism, your heart, your digestive function, your mood, everything like that. So it really is far reaching and does affect everything. Um, so with the thyroid then, so the first thing to be aware of is that your thyroid function can directly affect your gut function because it affects your body's metabolism and how quickly or slowly your body is functioning, all its systems are functioning, um, particularly your digestive system. And your digestive system needs to be functioning at a particular rate because it has its internal cleansing system for a start. The peristaltic action, which pushes everything through, is regulated. Um, or one of the ways it's regulated is through your, the thyroid hormones. So if your thyroid isn't functioning optimally, that's one of the issues that can be affected first. And obviously, you get uh, constipation, that very slow moving gut and um you know, you won't be absorbing as properly, as efficiently as you should do, things like that. So that can be one of the first signs you have um, some form of a thyroid issue going on. Um, so you can end up with um, that general kind of slow motility thing. And that can also um, give rise to SIBO, but we'll come, we'll come on to that more in just a second. So the suboptimal thyroid function and this slowing down of the gut is also not going to have a very good effect on your microbiome because your microbiome being the um, the colonies of bacteria that you have living in your gut. So you need an optimally functioning gut to ensure that you have the right levels of bacteria and then the right levels of bacteria are going to ensure that a lot of other systems in your body functioning optimally as well. As I just mentioned, SIBO can be then an issue too. So SIBO is where we have bacteria growing in the small intestine, flourishing there, rather than where it should be, in the large intestine. And this can give rise to a lot of those kind of typical IBS symptoms, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, painful digestion, etc, etc. Um, very nasty um, symptoms and quite stubborn to be able to get rid of as well because often there is something behind it as well which is driving it it's not normally an issue in and of itself suboptimal thyroid function can be one of those issues so it's always worth exploring that as well um, so also the the other main thing to consider I, is that um, your gut metabolizes your thyroid hormone so your gut bacteria will convert T3 into T4 into T3, which is the active form of thyroid hormone. So if your gut bacteria are compromised at all, you're not going to be making adequate forms of T3. So you're going to suffer with those, um, those suboptimal thyroid function um, issues as well. Um, 
So if your gut health is imbalanced at all, be it through IBS, chronic con constipation, um, celiac disease, anything like that, then it's worth bearing in mind that your conversion of T4 to T3 could be impacted there. Um, so you can see that there's always this kind of vicious cycle going on. So suboptimal thyroid can give rise to gut problems. Gut problems can give rise then to um, more suboptimal thyroid issues. So you do kind of tend to get this vicious cycle going on, which can be a bit unfortunate until you break the cycle. Um, you can see then more things starting to function a bit better for you. OK, so I hope that helps. Um, there are links below to book a call with me, free 30 minute call so I can point you in the right direction if it's the right time for you to start um, progressing on your gut health journey and you want to talk about testing and coaching options, that kind of thing. There's also some free downloads there, recipes, etc. So do take advantage of those and download them if you think they would be useful. Okay, I shall see you next time.